So this is our spot at Caballo Lake State Park in Caballo, New Mexico. It's a little bit north of Las Cruces and a little bit south of Truth or Consequences. And uh, Truth or Consequences is a really awesome town. We'll go over that with you later. Um, but this is our spot. It's kind of like a pull through. They all are. Um, and we got this really nice pavilion here with a picnic table and a grill. Pretty awesome place. I'll show you the view. This is our view from our living room window over the couch. Got the lake and the mountains. Very pretty. Um, the Rio Grande River is on the far side of the lake and there's a dam um, to the right of us and then the Rio Grande flows down towards El Paso in Mexico. Pretty awesome view. Um, we've got cactuses here that we, we've never seen cactuses before so this was really awesome. Um, here's a couple of them here. And they've got these little cactus gardens um, planted around the property. This is really awesome. Just another one of those things that we never thought we would see. It was a, you know, a desert landscape with um, a bunch of cactuses. So this was really cool. A bunch of different ones here. Um, dump station is right over here. Our site actually has full hookups. Um, this property is divided into three small campgrounds. Um, two of them don't have sewer and ours does have sewer. It's only got about seven sites uh, with full hookups. But the dump station for the whole campground is right here. So this was um, $18 a night and then you have to pay a $4 per day use fee, like a day use fee. So it was $22 a night. A bargain for full hookups. It was really awesome. There's some more mountains over there. It's just a beautiful place. Um, this is one of our favorite campgrounds. Definitely in the top five so far. We're kind of up on a butte um, overlooking the lake, up a little higher, um, but I hope you can see there's a couple campers down there. They have primitive camping too, so there's some campers down there on the lower level, um, and they don't have any hookups. That's strictly boondocking down there. Dumpsters are really close by, almost right next to us here. And you can see when there's one of the other campgrounds close by. Here's the bathroom for our section and the section next to us. I haven't been in it yet, but I'm going to go in it real quick so I can tell you what it's like. Pretty awesome bathroom. Actually, here's one of the shower stalls. Um, not quite sure if they just didn't finish over there or if it fell down later or what, but um, the stalls still look good. There's a bench right here. But they've got the shower enclosures put in there. Real nice and clean. Um, the floor looks fairly new, so they must have remodeled these at some time. Here's the sinks. Nice mirrors. And here's the toilets. Yeah, looks good. Nice clean bathrooms. Pretty awesome. Um, it's cold in here. There's no heat. I do hear the fan running right now. But very nice bathrooms. So there's some of the other campers. Um, the momentum over there uh, in front of ours is the camp post. Friendly folks, very friendly, and they are working. I see them running around on their golf cart pretty much all day long. But just a really awesome place. Definitely, like I said, one of our top five campgrounds. This is just beautiful. We've been very happy here. 
Hi everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed that campground review. And uh, if you've happened to stay at that particular campground and you have some comments, we'd love to hear from you. And uh, if you haven't checked out the other campground reviews and our other travel videos and maintenance videos we have, and some humorous ones too, uh, please consider doing that. And we're so glad that you stopped in and saw what we're doing. We love making these videos for you guys. And uh, it's a lot of fun. And we look forward to your comments, suggestions. And uh, we can take criticism too. We're newbies at this. We, we're not perfect and we know that. So once again, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, whatever time it happens to be. And we'll see you down the road and over the hills. Bye.